Hi, welcome to Tea and Mystics. My name's Kim. Today I'm going to be doing a short review of the book Spiritual Places by Sarah Baxter and illustrations by Harry and Zana Goldhawk while I'm sipping on some, well actually the last bit of my candy apple tea from Citizen Tea. Spiritual Places is a book that lets you get a little glimpse into different places that are used around the globe to be spiritual pilgrimages. These are places that it is believed have a higher spiritual frequency and a added layer of spiritual significance than to those other sort of tourist sites or places you may visit in the world. What I enjoyed about this book is that it just gives you a bit of a taste of different places around the world, a nice brief introduction. You learn a little bit of the history and why these different sites are considered to have a special level of spiritual significance. It doesn't give you a ton of information, but just sort of gives you a little peek of interest into some of the places. There are the common names you may already know, like um, Lourdes, the Camino de Santiago, Anchor Wat, Easter Island, but there's a good chance you'll come across some places you may not be aware of if you pick up the book. As I mentioned at the top of the video, this book is illustrated and each place that is discussed has at least one original illustration to show what the location may look like and what it is like. I really enjoyed the original illustrations that are in the book and it was a fun way to sort of allow your own imagination to start to flow and think about these different locations as opposed to just looking at a photograph of these places. But of course, if any place really sparks your interest, you can easily do a search online to find images of that place. So if you're looking for a book that lets you take a spiritual pilgrimage without having to leave your own home, this is a perfect book to pick up. Or if you're just interested in different spiritual places around the world, then I definitely would recommend picking it up. Today I am sipping on the last bit of my candy apple tea from Citizen Tea. This is definitely a tea that's perfect for autumn feelings and winter, has more of a roasted flavor to it. And because today is a little overcast and a bit cooler, I kind of wanted to lean into some of those autumn vibes right now. So if you're looking for that, I would definitely recommend Candy Apple Tea by Citizen Tea. Or if you're just looking forward to some autumn teas you may like. Thanks so much for tuning in to Tea and Mystics. Cheers!